Hi guys, George here from Zero Period Productions, and today on Skyrim Saturday Mods, I'm taking a look at Dragon Child, the expansion to Rigmore of Cyrodiil. Nearly a year ago, I sat down and started recording Rigmore of Cyrodiil, sequel to the mod Rigmore of Bruma. Rigmore of Cyrodiil was incredibly ambitious, and took us to Bruma, the Imperial City, Roscria, and several smaller locations, such as camps, farms, and even alien ruins. With the entire landmass of Cyrodiil already added by the mod, it left a lot of different opportunity to show and expand upon the province and its locations for its upcoming DLC and upcoming sequel. The mod author has said that with Dragonchild he wanted to improve upon his work, and create better player agency, improve upon his narrative approach, and the mod's design as well. I'm currently playing a pre-release version of the mod, so there might be a couple bugs here and there, but by the time this video comes out, the mod will have been officially released, and I will check for any updates and patches on the Nexus. Dragon Child is available on PC for both Legendary Edition and Special Edition, and can be found as an optional file on the file page. Story-wise, this is a direct follow-up to the end of Rigmore of Cyrodiil, and to start it, you will need to be in the Imperial Throne Room with Rigmore. This means you'll need to have finished the story for Rigmore of Cyrodiil in order to start the expansion's content. And now, our story continues. Hey, Rigmore. Dragonborn, what is it? Are you sure? Dragonborn, of course I'm sure. I... I am with child. Well, that changes things. I didn't expect this. What? The baby? Or you becoming emperor? Well, I guess kind of both, to be honest with you. What are you going to do? I'm going to hightail it back to Skyrim. I'm going to go with the flow. We've come this far, haven't we? I'm going to rule with an iron fist and put things right. I don't know. Something's not right. It doesn't add up. Well, I don't want to have the baby here. I want to go home. You don't want to have it here in the throne room? Really? I could see the crown. It should have been you become the empress. Yeah, I don't want to be emperor. I don't have time for that. Uh-uh. You're the last dragonborn, the rightful heir to the throne. Nope. Blackwell said it himself. Nuh uh I need you now more than ever. Please, don't leave me here alone. <sighs> Here's the thing. And I've said it before, and I'll say it again. The whole Dragonborn Emperor thing is a moot point. It is a moot point because Martin Septim sacrificed himself, and the pact with Akatosh is no longer needed. You don't need a Dragonborn ruler on the throne in order to keep the gates of Oblivion shut. It's not necessary. It would just be for the sake of tradition, and I am not Emperor material. Not that you're necessarily Empress material, but... Still. Rigmore, I never asked for any of this shit. Uh, I'm not going anywhere, we will find a way. Or, you know, lover route, which we're still not doing. I never asked for any of this. Please take me home, Dragonborn. Let's have Blackwell look after things here. If he needs us, he can send for us. Alright, fine. Here he is. Ask him. Ask him about what happens next. Hey, do you want to get rid of that dead body right there? This, uh, this old false emperor is stinking up <clears throat> my throne room. I know, I know I told him I wasn't going to be emperor, but you know what? He, where I told you I wasn't going to be emperor, but he doesn't know that yet. Play along. If anyone asks, I'm in charge here. Someone needs to be. Ah, Blackwell. What happens next? Well, there will be a small interim phase, so correspondence can be sent to those that need to be informed, such as dignitaries and the royal houses of Tamriel. They shall be invited to the coronation, which in this case I suggest be arranged at the same time, as Rigmore is now the High Queen of Cyrodiil. Queen? What? But first, we need to protect the integrity of our queen and the child. So, first I suggest Rigmore takes up the name of the House of Mead. Rigmore Mead? <laughs> yeah, right. It might only be a temporary change, but also a necessary one. 
My lord, depending on how we go forward from here, I have another suggestion. Oh no. Is he gonna say I have to be a septum? Go on. I suggest you arrange a marriage at the soonest opportunity. What? You, as the last dragonborn, are the rightful heir to the throne. Come again? As soon as I heard of your accomplishments, I knew it was fact. Um... That not only were you gifted the Thum, but also with the ability to absorb the souls of dragons. That you were anointed by Akatosh himself as the rightful heir. I think I need to call Akatosh. The crown. If you find that arrangement to be impossible for whatever reason, there are alternative ways to proceed. Oh, thank God. What other arrangements? Do I have, like, a cousin or something and we can put them on the throne? I also just, like, I can see his hand right there. It's like, oh, please save me, your dead emperor. A partnership or friendship ceremony for the child's sake. It would not be binding and you could both live separate lives. Where there is an understanding between you and shared responsibilities. Especially if you decide to cede. Or you could cede the crown. Rigmore becomes empress and you go back to what you were doing before. I like the whole idea. It's like, well, this is technically your baby. But what if you and the mother just become friends? It's like, yeah. Hey, hey, son. Hey, daughter. It's like, uh, we're just friends. I'll consider the options and let you know what I decide in good time. Understood. My lady. The Dragonborn and I shall return to Bruma for the time being and leave you in charge as caretaker. Maybe... Maybe Titus Mead II will return someday. Um... We will, of course, comply with anything you ask of us. <clears throat> mm. Of course, my lady. As the former Countess of Bruma, administration will pass to Sigun. Bruma will, by default, become a royal city and imperial place of residence. There is a small matter that needs to be attended to, but that can wait for the time being. I'm sure both of you need time to adjust to the new situation you find yourselves in. The traitors Leowin, Chaden Hall, and Coral have all been dealt with permanently. Oh? And the houses of Coral and Chaden Hall, for the time being, have passed on to their next of kin. That was fast. Leowin? Leowin is in need of a new count. I suggest Cassius Varon. It is imperative we have someone we can trust, implicitly. His naval expertise would suit the county and protect the Nibbin Bay, especially as the disbanded bandit army has gone to ground in the border regions of Black Marsh, elsewhere in Valenwood. Of course, Quintus was another option to consider, but with growing tensions in Hammerfell, it would be prudent to have him remain there for the time being. Alright, fair enough. Agreed, but I will be making the decisions around here from now on. Agreed, Leowin is key to protect the Citadel, especially if the Akaviri launch an attack. Oh, I forgot about the Akaviri. Oh, I was hoping that with, um, Morag Sethius dead, that it wouldn't matter anymore and they would just give up. I shall get onto it at once. I shall arrange the necessary correspondence announcing the change of dynasty and forthcoming coronation to be sent to whom it may concern. So expect immediate interest and requests for parley. Especially from the Elder Council in exile and the Aldmeri Dominion, who I suspect will want to discuss the restoration of the White Gold Concordant. Ugh, that's right. <laughs> yeah, right. Hey, we can't afford a war right now. Lady Rigmore, take this opportunity to relax as best you can. Of course, return home to Bruma. But soon, whether you like it or not, you will need to adapt and come to terms with your new situation. Uh, maybe I should be Emperor. Once the news has reached the far corners of Tam... Nern, and you address the foreign dignitaries and your subjects, you must respect their expectations and act accordingly, befitting a queen. Hey, I'm not the Emperor, and I put up with this kind of stuff from Malisam long enough, so drop it, Blackwell. But you are still the queen. Rightfully so, as the Dragonborn is the rightful heir to the Imperial Throne by right of combat. I thought because I was I Dragonborn. I realize this situation is not perfect, or even expected. I am sure it comes as a surprise to all of us, but here we are. It's not the first time in the history of monarchies that things have turned out 
exceptional, but we must all agree that the recent events that have brought us here are indeed exceptional. Ah, <sighs> I'm sorry. I'm just worried, I guess. I, I don't know. Rigmore, I have been on the receiving end of your... <clears throat> diplomatic parlay, you have proven, beyond doubt, your ability to lead, to strategize, to stand up, shoulders back, head held high in the face of overwhelming odds. And with the Dragonborn by your side? If it's peace you want, if it's a home to go where you can raise a child in safety, you have a place alongside the Dragonborn to make this real. To make it a success, because no one is going to make that success for you. I thought that was your job. So please... Do take the time to return to Bruma, appoint a lady-in-waiting, and send her here to the palace as to arrange the royal suite. I take it you have dealt with... Sir Robert? I can deal with him again if you want. I think he's still alive in the prison. Is it execution time? Oh, I hope so. Not yet. Then I leave his fate up to you. If you will permit me, I have matters to attend to. I shall send word if something important comes up and your presence is required. My lord. My... My lady. Lord. Dragonborn. Wait, are we lord and lady? I guess we would be, but... Your highness is, uh... The formal title, I think. You don't need those imperial clothes. You don't need those royal clothes. What is it? How do you feel about all this? So he said you would be Queen of Cyrodiil. I guess it would make sense that, you know, there's an Emperor of the Empire. Like, the Emperor of Tamriel and then also a more localized leader for Cyrodiil the province. I don't know um, if that's how it's always been, but it does make sense. A little unsure. I can't quite put my finger on it. I feel good on top of the world, although... Uh, no, a little unsure. Uh, actually, very, very unsure about everything. I don't know who I trust more to lead us in this time. You or me, but as long as Blackwell's helping out, I guess it's okay. You? Unsure? Well, you know what? There's a lot going on here. I'm a victim of all this, just like you. More so in many ways. I understand. I really do. Can I just write Akatosh a letter and say, Hey, buddy. Um, the pact between you and us, it's like, that's, that's not a thing anymore. I don't need to be emperor, there does not need to be a dragonborn emperor. So, uh, are we good? Are we okay? I'll see you at Thanksgiving. How can you possibly understand? Ooh, ouch. Uh, I know, we've been through a lot, haven't we? Yeah, no, there's no need for me to be hostile to her right now. It's like, no, we've both been through a lot, we're still going through a lot right now. We share a destiny. I know that. We have both suffered from amnesia. I have? I don't know what I would have done if you hadn't been there for me. Been there for all of us. I know I'm not perfect, but you've always been there to carry me when I fall, to put me back together when I'm broken. I would do the same for you in a heartbeat. I'll always have your back, and I want you to know you are kind and stronger than you know. You're my dragonborn. And I'll protect you always. See, this is the side of Rigmore that I like. I like the what the side where it's like kind and understanding and we're there for each other, not the Dragonborn, what are you doing? Dragonborn, put that down. Dragonborn, you can't rule the Empire. You protect me. I hope it's like sarcastic or joking, because that's how I interpret it. Hey, I was trying to be nice, okay? <laughs> Whatever. I tried. Okay, okay, let's get back on track. I could have just said the platonic I love you. And that would have made everything a lot better. Can you take me home now? This is your home now. You know what I mean. Alright, come on. Follow me. <sighs> okay. She does sound really scared. And I can't really say that I blame her. Can we get someone to 
clean that up. Oh, and you can see, like, did you have p carrots and peas? Oh, oh, I see chunks in that. Oh, all right. Hello there. Need something? No, just uh, be, be at the ready. Stand at attention, God. The dragon would wait. What is it? What are we going to tell my mom? Uh, I mean, we can't just go back there and say, Hey mom, guess what? I'm pregnant with the Dragonborn's baby. And I never slept with you. Uh, I'm just worried, I guess. It's awkward because I never, ever did anything with you. And you're pregnant. And how am I going to explain that to people? They're going to say, uh-huh, yeah, you never did anything. Uh, we tell her the truth, and we arrange a friendship or partnership ceremony for Kintyra's sake. Okay, leave mom to me. It's best I tell her. I'm going to get executed right now. Of course, I'll leave it to you to tell her. Well, let's get this over with. I'm about to get thrown in the stockades. I'm gonna get thrown in prison. I'm gonna be alongside Servo Bear. In general. Guardian General. I do like um, one thing that was done with the mod, one change that the mod author made, where it doesn't give you the little quest pop up where it says, oh, talk to so and so. It'll just give a little. Uh, notification in the upper left-hand corner of the screen saying, oh, new dialogue available. Rigmore. Oh no, here we go. Mom! Hi, everyone. Ah, How are you? Well informed us of Leowin's defeat. There seems to be some confusion regarding the outcome of the, uh... Ah, uh, yes. The war. We went to parlay at the Emperor's request. He, the Emperor, attacked Dragonborn. It was self-defense, I swear. By the gods, what happened? I think it's plainly obvious. I take it things didn't end well for him. Dragonborn is now the Emperor of Cyrodiil. And Technically. Empire. Technically. <gasps> My word. Your most imperial... Royal Majesty. There will be a coronation after the interim phase, so Blackwell can make the necessary arrangements for the coronation. Come on, let's all sit down. You're gonna want to sit down for this. Forgive me, your... Uh, your Majesty, as this has come as a bit of a shock. <laughs> you got that right. Indeed, but... What about you, my lady? I am the new High Queen of Cyrodiil. Seems there was something in that prophecy after all, Freyathoth. Bruma is to become a royal city, so nothing would need change here, apart from my name. Change your name, child? What do you mean? Blackwell wants me to change my name to Rigmore Mead before the coronation. Might I make one small suggestion? As you know, Carice and myself have always worked tirelessly to protect and serve the descendants of Morgan of Winterhold. Your point? Morgan, as you know, was the first child of Titus Mead I. You could respect her memory of that by assuming the name of Rigmore Morgan Mead. It has a nice ring to it, don't you think? Don't you think? Hmm? <laughs> you okay there, Malisem? Hmm. Thanks, Malisem. You know, I really like that. <laughs> but what I don't understand is... How is all of this going to work out? If Rigmore is the High Queen of Cyrodiil... Then Your Majesty must not only be the Emperor... But also the High King. Excuse me? What of the prophecy, my child? Are you... No, oh, no, here we go. Uh-oh. Mom, 
We need to talk. I'm just gonna leave the room. Rigmore? What is it? Is there something wrong? I'm gonna leave the room real soon. In private. Uh, what happened, Your Majesty? And what about Morag? Yeah, let's talk about Morag Sethius. Let's talk about all these other things that don't involve what's going on with Rigmore. That sounds like a really good idea right now. We defeated Morag Sethius at Table Mountain with the help of the Thalmor. And my mistress? Yeah, um... So... She showed up, she fought Molag Ball. It was really, really odd. The destruction of the Soul Gem caused a rift and Molag Ball entered into Nagasel. My word. I summoned Boethia with the iron. We fought and thwarted Molag Ball and his minions together. The Dragonborn and Boethia. Versus Molag Baal and his minions. Who would ever conceive of such an epic event? What then, Majesty? I take it you went straight after Leowen? I passed out. I passed the hell out. I had a fever dream of sorts. Excuse me. It wasn't as easy as that, but yeah, pretty much. But you mentioned the Falmor. Apparently, they were sent by the Elder Council and other dignitaries, led by a Count Camaeus. I know of him. Of course, I haven't been back to the Isles for many years, but the family is well known. Lelandril, I think. Yes, that's where his family hail from. Very well respected. What about the Red Diamond? Did you pick it up? What? The Red Diamond? Jante was telling us about... Oh. Ah, yes. Apparently the destruction of the Bridge of Size would ultimately cause it to collapse in upon itself. What are we talking about? The Red Diamond? What? Uh, didn't Sefri tell you that would occur if the Soul Gem reached its zenith? Uh, he only mentioned it would cause a rift. He never mentioned anything about a diamond. If the Soul Gem were allowed to reach its zenith, destroying itself, it would indeed have caused a rift. But also, it would have left behind a black diamond. If it had, an amulet of kings made of it would have been able to reverse the sacrifice of Martin Septim. What? Not only allowing Daedra to pass into the mortal world along with Cold Harbor, but also to banish the gods. Oh, what the hell? Thankfully, you destroyed it in time, but instead of leaving a black diamond, it would have left a red diamond in its place. Oh, no. Are you telling me that we have to reforge the Amulet of Kings and that the Pact with Akatosh is back on? Is that what you're telling me? Maybe I'm just, like, getting ahead of myself. Maybe I'm just getting ahead of you. But that's my immediate thought on where this is going. So that's what Morg was hinting about. What would happen now if... An Amulet of Kings made with a red diamond? We're not entirely sure. Oh, I was right. Only the Chosen One could wear it. Whether the diamond was black or red makes no difference. But we can assume it could be used to relight the dragon fires. But... And it could result in many outcomes. Why would you want to reverse the sacrifice of Martin Septum? Why would you do that? He saved all of us! Excuse me. Such as? Banish both the Divines and Daedra for meddling in the affairs of mortals completely. Um, what? Possibly it could equalize the influence of them, but at a reduced amount, strengthening the sacrifice of Martin Septim. Oh, okay. That I'm okay with. It would, of course, be useless without the fulfillment of the prophecy. And we talked about that before, Majesty. Also, Rigmore, were you supposed to leave to go talk to your mom? You're... You were right here. It's like, Mom, let's talk in private. And then your mom left, and you're still here. 
Well, fortunately for me, Sagun is gone. Uh, so yeah, guys, big news. Very big news. Rigmore is with child. By the gods! Majesty! I didn't do anything. Don't look at me like that. Well, that's all rather inconvenient. Uh, what happens next? I didn't do any of this. I don't blame me, blame Mara and that weird statue of Mara, that weird shrine of Mara that we touched. Note to self, no one touch shrines of Mara. Hey, Kiris, where are you going? Hey! Where the hell is she going? Uh, I have to do what's right for the child. We were tricked at a shrine of Mara in Hammerfell. Wait, that was in Hammerfell? I thought we were still in Cyrdal when that happened. Hmm. I knew it! Are you... Nothing the gods cannot do if they so wish it. Are you okay over there? Are you all right, Ritha? <laughs> oh, yeah. Honestly, here's the thing, because Ritha is saying it's like, oh, this will strengthen the um, the sacrifice of Martin Septim, and then the gods can't interfere. Let's do that. I don't want the gods interfering to this degree. It is not fair to me. It's like, oh, by the way, she's pregnant. Oh, by the way, it's yours because you touched my shrine. Joke's on you. I'm going to ask Sagun for her blessing. For a ceremony of friendship or partnership with Rigmore. Of course. That would put everything in order and make things right. I don't need the sarcasm right now. No one needs to know. Lady Rigmore is pregnant before the wedding. We keep this to ourselves. It's not a wedding. Majesty, does Lady Rigmore know what fate awaits her? Well, she doesn't. She's about to find out because she's sitting right there. Yes, she knows, but I don't want to talk about this right now. Dragonborn, I... I'm going to the cathedral to gather my thoughts for a little while. Maybe, I don't know, find some solace. When you're done here, would you come get me? Of course. I won't be long. <sighs> okay. Do you want to go tell your mom? I think Ceres is, um... You're Poor gonna go girl. tattle on me. So, Master Freofoth, what fate awaits her? Please do share. Majesty? Hello. Excuse me. Oh, I can't talk to him. Uh, no mortal woman has ever given birth to a dragon child and lived. That is still not true. I'm going to contest that fact, but we're just gonna roll with it for right now. Well, no wonder the poor girl needs to find solace. But I have the ear of the gods and they have assured us not to worry. Hmm. What? How? Oh, didn't you hear? Akatosh and me, we're like this. You can't see it, but I'm, I'm crossing my fingers. We're like this. It's a long story. Maybe some other time. Uh, of course. Forgive me. It must be a trying time for both of you. Majesty, let us hope the gods keep their word for all our sakes. And in the meantime, I'll send that ruffian, that scoundrel, that rapscallion Jimmy Tenfingers to search Nagasel for the diamond. Who the fuck is Jimmy Tenfingers? It should still be there, unless... Who the hell is Jimmy Tenfingers? You're just gonna casually name drop someone named Jimmy Ten Fingers and not explain who they are? Unless what? Unless, of course, someone else knew in advance what would occur. But for the present, perhaps it would be best to speak to Sigrun to alleviate any concerns about the future she might have. Yeah, she still doesn't know. Uh, that's what I intend to do right now. Majesty? Don't look at me like that. I think Rigmore's upset she's not getting married. Which, even right now, like, that's my biggest, like, internal debate. 
do I step up and do that, or do I keep it as the thing of, uh, oh yeah, let me just, you know, be friends, have the formal partnership of sorts. Uh, you're supposed to go back to the, uh, the chapel. Which, using Let's Get Back on Truck, I'm pretty sure we'll put her back to where she's supposed to be at any given time. Okay, let's go. Otherwise, she acts as a follower. Okay, yeah, that seems to have done it. I think so. Hope so. Uh, let's just follow her for a second and see where she's going. Wait, isn't this the secret exit out of Bruma? <laughs> what path are you taking to get out of Bruma? Oh god, it's dark. Do I not have my lantern anymore? Yeah, where's my wearable lantern? Uh, alright. One second. Much better. You're really gonna use the sewers to get out of here? Well, you know what? She said she needed some time alone. Who am I to question how she wants to go about it? <laughs> 